Taiwan is taking extreme measures to fight extreme weather with a monumental push for offshore wind power. Out of the 20 best sites in the world to build a wind farm, 16 are here in Taiwan. At the heart of this ambitious quest is Green Jade, one of the world's largest floating installation vessels. Their success will turn Taiwan into a self-reliant renewable energy producer, combat climate change, and build an icon for the world's green future. Measuring 216.5 meters long by 49 meters wide by 16.8 meters deep, Green Jade boasts a deck space akin to 1.3 soccer fields. With a maximum lifting capacity of 4,000 metric tons, it is one of the largest floating installation vessels tailored for offshore wind farms. Situated near one of the world's best wind resources, the Taiwan Strait, Taiwan prioritizes wind power in its green energy transition. Wen Long Cheng, the chairman of CSBC Corporation, Taiwan's largest shipyard, spots an opportunity. CSBC, we don't have any experience in marine work. We need an experienced partner. So after a very carefully survey in the world, finally we found the Demi Offshore, one of the largest marine engineering companies in the world. CSBC and Deme Offshore combine their expertise and create a joint venture, CDWE, short ESBC, Deme Wind Engineering. They decide to adapt the design of Deme's first generation floating installation vessel, Orion, to expedite the process. As a result, the layout of the ballast tanks, power supply, piping, ventilation system, and personnel flow must all be reconfigured. This is to Green Jade passes the 2,000 ton load test comfortably. At the end of the day two load test, the barge is lowered onto the deck. It will be prepared for the most challenging task, the overload test. To lift 4,400 metric tons approximately equals lifting eight Airbus 380s, the world's largest double-deck aircraft, in one go. We designed together with the crane manufacturer the, what we call the boom uplift preventive. After three strenuous years of construction, Green Jade, one of the world's largest floating crane vessels, has passed the load test. With optimizations accomplished, the Green Jade team focuses the sea trial on one of the vessel's most important features its ability to ride out the forces of wind, waves, and currents to keep the same position at sea. It's what makes operating an offshore heavy lift crane possible. DP stands for dynamic positioning. It's a computer-aided system automatically change the ship's positioning and heading to stay in position to fulfill its land operation. While most modern offshore vessels use DP, Green Jade is built to meet the highest equipment class, DP-3. DP-3 means that if you would lose one part of the engine room by fire and flooding, we would remain on board and do the firefighting, but also maintain position and continue the work till it's terminated. To keep the Class 3 dynamic positioning system and the crane running during heavy lifts at sea, Green Jade uses eight super powerful thrusters with a total output of about 42,000 horsepower, equivalent to nearly 400 family cars. The very powerful marine installation race will contribute to the green energy transition in the world. It was built by CSBC and uh, made in Taiwan and brought up. In the APAC region, we see uh, a lot of focus now on offshore wind, uh, and they're all looking uh, to Taiwan as the, uh, as the front runner. Yeah, I think Taiwan plays a, a very good role now.